Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my art channel. I'm really glad you're here with me today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a swipe technique. Uh, lots of people are doing uh, swipes and I really was inspired by Kathleen of Cause Creations. I'm going to leave her link in the description area. You have to check out her channel. She does the most fabulous swipes. Uh, They're absolutely beautiful. So I was inspired by her, decided that I needed to um, do it myself, but uh, for my own style in my own way. So check out to see what happens next. So I've been watching uh, Kathleen's channel, Cause Creations. Um, I think I've watched every video since I found her. She is fabulous at what uh, she does, especially the swiping. And so that's why I was so inspired. But, you know, I wanted to do something a little different. Um, so she, I know she likes to use um, paper towels and, and kind of gets them into a size that she likes, but I had these tools on hand. You can see that I've used them in the past. They're pretty old looking. Um, and so I just thought I'd just do something um, that uh, would work better with my style. Swiping technique in uh, fluid painting has gained a lot of popularity among artists and it is so because of, uh, of its unique and uh, really captivating results. Uh, the technique involves just using a simple tool uh, like I am, like a palette knife. You could use a card um, to wipe across the wet paint. Like I said, Kathleen uses paper towels. Uh, anything to wipe, uh, swipe the paint across the canvas and it creates these beautiful patterns and textures. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive all notifications. So originally I thought I'd just use black and white, uh, but then I decided to add the gold since I've been kind of on a black, white, gold kick lately. Now I think one of the reasons that uh, swiping has really become very popular is because of the control and the precision that you can have uh, when you're swiping. Uh, when you're swiping across the canvas, you can manipulate the paint in a direction that you want. It creates clean lines and really defined shapes. Uh, the level of control really makes uh, uh, helps the artist to cre uh, create really intricate details and really uh, helps to refine uh, their uh, composition. There is a lot of flow and movement uh, when you are creating a piece of artwork uh, using this swipe technique. Uh, the fluid painting is known for uh, the flow and movement of the paint across the canvas. The swiping technique enhances the, the, the sense of motion by adding more dynamic lines and really energetic sweeps. The um, act of just swiping the tool through the paint creates that sense of fluidity and rhythm and gives these, um, your artwork a sense of movement and vitality.
Now, another cool thing with swiping, the swiping technique, is that there is color blending and layering. Now, I've only had done three colors here, the black, white, and gold. But if you uh, add, let's say, a, a blue and a red and a purple, uh, a yellow, uh, you can uh, create um, a lot of layering and interest by blending those colors together. Uh, the swipe, when it goes through the wet paint, reveals the colors beneath and uh, it becomes really beautiful and very interesting. So here it is wet still, and I'm loving what I see. I haven't worked with swipes in a very long time, but you know what, there's just so much fun. I love it. Sticking with a kind of a neutral palette, and I might do something with it after it's dry to one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is, and it dried um, not great. <laughs> um, you see, there's a lot of kind of these areas here. I am going to work on this and see what I can do to fix this up <laughs> and make it beautiful, hopefully. Stick with me, I'll be back in one second. So I'm gonna start off by covering up some of this area here. Um, just to get it nice and clean looking. The texture is not bad. I just don't like all these dots. I don't know, I haven't had much success lately. And this thing here um, looks kind of like a bony finger to me and I don't like it. So I'm gonna cover that up. I'm gonna have to go over that a few times to um, really not see it. So I'll just keep working on it. I haven't had much luck late, <laughs> lately uh, with the way my paintings are drying. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with my table or what, I don't know. I think what I should be doing is um, leveling out or, or actually not leveling the leveling is a problem but also um spritzing the back of my canvas and i forgot to do that and i think that is a problem spritzing it with water just makes it tighter and um, you avoid those kinds of things uneven because they didn't this one did not roll off the side or anything but it kind of became all wiggly <laughs> and I don't like that I didn't well it's not that I don't like it it's not what I had in my in mind I always talk about that you know you have a vision and you got to go you're working towards that vision and this is not what I had intended but I think it could still become a, a beautiful painting That made a nice straight line. I was thinking more along those lines, straight lines, not all this wiggly stuff. That's an easy way to do it. Just some stir stick that, you know, I keep the old ones. And then you get the nice straight line there. Same with here. I'm going to do it along here. So I continued throughout uh, the painting to add these various lines in uh, places where I thought would benefit the painting. Now another reason I really like swiping is because of the texture and the surface uh, variation you can get with the technique. Um, and as you are wiping, uh, swiping through the paint, it can leave behind little ridges and lines. Uh, it, it adds a kind of a tactile quality to the artwork. Um, it interacts, it ends up interacting with light and it creates a really subtle variation in shadows and highlights and uh, you know, makes the overall visual interest of the painting uh, very unique and uh, beautiful.
At this point, I really wanted to emphasize some of the black, uh, the, you know, of course, the black and white mix, and you get that gray, which is really beautiful. There's gorgeous variations, but the dark areas, I really wanted to make dark, really black, and not just a dark gray. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I wanted to make sure to add this kind of horizon line to really um, make the painting more balanced. So the, there's an upper half and then a lower half. Then I took out my gold, which is a 24 karat gold by Deco Art, and just highlighted certain areas. Um, I didn't want uh, it to be kind of wishy-washy. I really want it to be, because it's three colors, uh, the black, white, and gold, you need to have those colors really stand out and make a statement on their own. So I decided that I needed to get out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna add three colors here, which I'm very nervous about, but I've got my damp paper towel ready to go in case I hate it. <laughs> uh, and I could wipe it off right away. So Ooh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna put minimal color on my brush and here we go. Oh no, scary. I'm not sure if this is even something that goes with this. The red and the gold are really nice together. And look at that beautiful color in here. So I thought it was a good idea, but I always say live and learn. You can always change things up. It's okay. Um, you know, if you don't try, you just don't know. So um, I didn't want it to be that bold of color. So I switched it up and uh, decided to do some uh, color, but a lot more subtle than I was going for originally. So as you know, if you've watched my channel before, um, I always love to enhance, change things up to the way um, I think it would look best. And I'm just adding the color, uh, but again, in just a, a lot more subtle way. Uh, this is a light blue. I used a cadmium yellow um, and then a dioxine uh, purple. That's it. I didn't do much uh, more color than that. And I concentrated it mostly in the middle part there and then very subtly along either side. Hands are the best tools, right? <laughs> um, I find even though uh, I wasn't uh, blowing the paint out, I'm still covered in paint by the end of the day. Um, it's just something that happens to me. Uh, probably happens to you too. Let me know in the comments section.
So here is my version of a swipe. Um, thank you to Kathleen of Cause Creations for giving me the inspiration to do this. I'm very happy with the results. I love the bit of color here that kind of runs throughout. Changed it up the way I thought would look better. And I love this um, texture that you get. It reminds me of the wind, like actually seeing the wind blowing through. Maybe this painting will be called Windswept or something like that, or Windblown, <laughs> something like that. Here it is overall. I've got up close images coming up and click on the link to uh, see more of my artwork.